Okay, so I'm going to show you how I get my Sega Dreamcast online. I do this using what's called a PCDC server. Behind me I have the computer I use for my PCDC server. It's got a modem on top of it that connects via the serial port. And basically the Dreamcast will dial into that modem. And then all you need to do is run a command in the Linux terminal to tell the modem to answer the call. And the computer, as long as it's configured correctly, will forward broadband through the, the modem into the Dreamcast. Obviously it'll still be at dial-up speeds, but it allows you to connect without a real dial-up ISP. So no huge phone bill or anything from hours of gaming or web browsing on Dreamcast, whatever you're doing with it. So yeah, I'll show you how it works. So first things first, we want to power up the Dreamcast. I've got the latest Dream Key browser from Sega in there, which was the browser released with the Dreamcast in Europe. And while that's loading up, before we start connecting, there's a you need to run this terminal command here, which sets the modem up to receive the call. Uh, okay, so now we're at the Dream Key startup screen. I've already configured the Dreamcast so we can just press go online. It will now start dialing. Once it starts dialing, we want to run the second terminal command to tell the modem to answer. Now the modem has lit up and in a few seconds the Dreamcast should successfully connect to the internet. I don't know what web page it's trying to load just now, but it's either full of images or it doesn't work anymore. Hence why it takes so long to load. So we're going to go to a different URL and try the Bing search engine. Now because this browser is so old you'll notice that the page won't display correctly, but still functions correctly on this browser so what we're going to do is we're going to search for Dreamcast and see if we can load up the Wikipedia page for the Dreamcast just so you can see how the web looks for the browser today okay, so now that we're in Bing you can see there's no background image or anything because the browser is too out of date to run whatever script makes it appear we're just going to search for uh, Dreamcast. So in a few seconds we should see, or minutes rather, because this is dial-up, we should see search results appear. <laughs> we go starting to see some of the page. We're just going to try that first link for Wikipedia. Take a little minute to load. Yeah, you need to be very patient with dial-up. There we go. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, the page is still readable, but obviously it doesn't look the way it should on a modern browser. But you can browse it and follow links just the same. So, yeah, that's the Dreamcast Wikipedia page being displayed on an actual Dreamcast. 
Now, I bet what you're wondering just now is whether you can actually still play any games online on the Dreamcast. And the answer to that would be yes. I've actually got a copy of uh, Fantasy Star Online version 2 here. And I've got a disc that I burned that patches the patches the game to connect to a private server. So I'll show you how that works as well. So since we're finished with the browser, we'll just power it off. Swap out the disc. Put the patch disc in. Now, if the Dreamcast has been powered off and uh, tries to dial in again, you'll need to reset the PCDC server. So, we'll just go ahead and do that just now while we're waiting on that disc loading. So, just run that to get the modem ready and just put the command in there for when we dial in. Now, as you can see, the patch disc is booted and it's asking us to insert the GD ROM of Fancy Star Online. So we'll go ahead and do that. So, just take the pack disc out. See if I can open this case one handed. There we go. Just pop that in there. And once it's read the disc, it'll ask us to. Press start to patch and load the game, I think. Yeah, we want to load it with all patches, so we'll press start. And the game will just boot normally now. One thing I should point out, if you're looking to set up a PC DC server yourself, is not all modems will work with it. Um, I could never get the PAL modem that shipped with my Dreamcast to work. Uh, I've actually got a Japanese Dreamcast modem in the back of it just now. So, if you're in PAL territory, it's likely your modem might not work. And the PC side modem has to be a voice modem. And it's tricky finding one of them that works as well. But if you've got a modem with a Connexent chipset for your PC, it's almost uh, guaranteed to work. And uh, it's just a bit of trial and error finding a modem that works sometimes. So yeah, connecting with real dial is probably still the best option. But this is a good option if you have the equipment available to do it. So yeah. It just takes a little bit to load. We're going to connect online. So yeah, now that's going to start dialing. We want to jump back to our server and just hit enter. Okay, so now it should be dialing to the Fancy Star Online private server. In a little minute, it should say sending username and password. Yep, there we go. And we should be onto the server in a few more seconds. Select our ship. Just go on the first one. There's probably no one on just now because normally people are on on a Saturday night or you have to schedule the games. So, yeah, it'll probably just be an empty lobby. But people do play regularly, and if you ask about in the forums, it's easy to get a game set up and it still works really well. Yeah, no one's online. But 
we can create a team. Yeah, there's a. Uh, we can create a team that both PSO one and PSO version two can connect to, or version two only, and pick a name. I'll just press A. And once you press registration, as long as you don't set a password, anyone can join. You can also change the difficulty of the match in that menu as well. But on such a low level, can we play normal just now? And yeah, it'll take you into the game now. And to just play as normal and people can join. So yeah, here I am in, in an online game. Just enter the forest just to show you what the game looks like if you've not seen it before. Okay, sorry my camera just died there, so I'm just recording this final section on my phone just to show you what the game looks like if you've not played it before. So yeah, you basically just wander around the levels killing monsters with the other players. And it's a very fun game. If you've not played it, I recommend you try it. You can get it on uh, GameCube and PC, which still works online, or you can get it on the original Xbox as well, but unfortunately it no longer works online on the original Xbox due to the Xbox Live server being shut down. But yeah, this is Fantasy Star Online on the Dreamcast, and it's connected to the internet in 2013. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll probably make some more videos on Dreamcast Online soon.